Well, Lakeland News is just part of the local and regional programming that Lakeland Public Television provides. Our station has changed dramatically since we first went on the air on June 1st, 1980. As Mel Meyer explains, we are constantly changing to meet our viewers' needs on the air and on the web. Well, I like to always say that we have something for everyone at the station. For 36 years, KAWE and KAWB have been broadcasting programs that educate, entertain, enrich, and enlighten the community. For many years, this meant broadcasting from our cramped quarters in Bemidji State University. Since then, we've moved to our new space in April 2015. This area is our newsroom, and there'll be a bunch of cubicles in here. With that change over time, we've adapted new ways to connect with community members. Glenn McLean oversees membership and underwriting money from area businesses. He says there are many benefits to being a member, such as access to PBS Passport. Members of the station can watch any program they want, whenever they want, on a device of their choice. From children's shows to local musicians, documentaries, and our nightly news, we provide a little bit of everything. Pretty much everyone here at the station, if you ask any of them what their favorite program is, they all have at least one favorite program. One of the ways to find out about the local programming is on our website. As our viewers become increasingly mobile, we're looking for our website to become more handheld device friendly. But at the same time, we need to be sure that anyone, no matter on what device they're using, they can access the website and still have a good experience. One of the ways to get the most up-to-date news is through our social media pages, which also feature additional content. So having that online presence as well as the social media presence, we're able to feature many more stories, stories that maybe won't even be on the air, but they'll definitely be online. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. To watch your favorite programs or any of our news stories, you can visit LPTV.org. And from there, you can also connect to our Facebook and Twitter pages from our website. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.